So today I want to talk about the new Ubiquiti Unify 6 Lite Access Point. If you want to learn more about this product, then please watch the rest of this video. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click the notification icon as it really helps support the channel. So I've been waiting for quite some time to test out the Unify Wi-Fi 6. In my opinion, based on having used several other manufacturers in the past, Ubiquiti is one of the most solid and best APs I've tried to date. Unfortunately, they've been extremely slow at releasing the Wi-Fi 6 access points to the public. I was fortunate enough to pick up one of the early access units, so I've been running this for a while. I've really been a huge fan of the Ubiquiti access points and really wanted to get the Pro version, but unfortunately, as of this video, all I could get was the Unify Access Point Lite, so I decided it was worth trying out just to see how it works and how it performs, because for the price, it's certainly a great value. So let's take a look at the contents of the box to see what it comes with, and then we'll set it up and do some testing. As with most the Ubiquiti products, the contents are pretty minimal. And I wanted to point out that I have two units. The original one was the Early Access units, which, which actually came with a PoE injector, and the recent production unit that I just got did not have one, so you'll have to attach it to either a PoE Plus switch or supply your own injector. Both came with ceiling slash wall quick disconnect mounts and the ceiling towel mount as well as the screws. Assuming you have a unified controller already set up on your system, then you probably already know that adding an additional access point is pretty straightforward and easy. The only thing is that you have to have at least version 6035 uh, controller software in order for the Wi-Fi 6 access points to be detected properly. So if you haven't updated your controller in a while, you'll have to do that. But since today isn't really about the installation, I'm not going to get into the details of installing the controller and configuring your device the first time around. There's a lot of videos out there on that topic. Today's about comparing the performance. Let's get into the testing a little bit. To keep things as accurate as possible, I'm using a low-cost Wi-Fi 6 adapter running the latest Intel AX210 chipset as my baseline. As these um, adapter cards are backwards compatible, the same adapter will be used for both the Wi-Fi 5 and the Wi-Fi 6 testing. If there's enough interest, I may do a separate video on these adapters at a later time. I ran the Wi-Fi test against my Unify AC Pro access point, but the one thing you want to keep in mind is that the Pro is actually a 3x3 MIMO versus the Lite being a 2x2 MIMO, which will make a difference in data transfer and throughput as well as capacity. I'll be testing both APs using speedtest.net, iperf, and traditional file copies just to establish a comparison. As you can see from the speed test results, there's a significant difference in the bandwidth used in benchmarks. The Wi-Fi 6 connection is effectively maxing out my internet connection, while my current AP is running around 260. Since the Wi-Fi 6 is running at the max speed of my internet, I don't know how much higher it would actually test if I had more performance on my internet. Next, let's take a look at the results from iPerf. Here we can see a pretty significant difference with the Wi-Fi 6 connection being approximately 69% faster than the Wi-Fi connection, which is a pretty sizable increase in performance. Lastly, let's take a look at the file copy results. File copy to me is one of the toughest tests on Wi-Fi as it involves a continuous data flow. Here we see a significant increase in performance with the Wi-Fi 6 being faster, um, even though it's only a two by two MIMO, despite the overall Wi-Fi transfer speeds being extremely slow overall. Once I get my hands on the Wi-Fi 6 Pro AP, with the 3x3 MIMO, I'll post a direct comparison between the two access points. So in summary, as you can see from the test results, the performance of the Wi-Fi 6 is greatly improved in pretty much every category. And subjectively, it's a whole lot more responsive when you're browsing through the internet. Although I have really no way to quantify that. Of course, based on many variables, your performance may be higher or lower than what I saw, but there's no doubt in my mind that you'll see it overall increase going to Wi-Fi 6. I am truly optimistic that when they released the rest of the product line, as well as continue to optimize this firmware, that gains will be even greater. But for now, if you're looking to purchase a new router or access point, and the Wi-Fi 6 version is available, I would definitely opt to get it. 
For me, I'll be using my two access point lights until they release the pro versions. And then I'll post an update to this video to, sh to show the direct comparison. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.